So what is gene therapy? Gene therapy is an experimental technique that uses genes to treat or prevent disease. In the future, this technique may allow doctors to treat a disorder by inserting a gene into a patient's cells instead of using drugs or surgery. So what is cell therapy? The transplantation of human cells to replace or repair damaged tissue or cells is known as cellular therapy. Many different types of cells could be employed as part of a therapy or treatment for a variety of diseases and disorder. Thanks to new technologies, creative products, and infinite imagination. Examples include bone marrow transplants and mesenchymal stem cell therapies. So how does gene therapy work? In gene therapy, scientists can do one of several things depending on the problem that is present. In order to insert new genes directly into cells, Scientists use a vehicle called a vector, which is genetically engineered to deliver the gene. Gene therapy can be used to modify cells inside or outside of the body. When it's done inside the body, a doctor will inject the vector carrying the gene directly into the part of the body that has defective cells. To summarize, gene therapy can alter cells both within and outside of the body. To deliver new genes into cells, scientists utilize a vehicle known as a vector. A doctor will inject the gene-carrying vector into a part of the patient's body that has faulty cells. To assess the users in grasping the better organizing the diverse application, they categorize them as follows. First, gene replacement therapy for monogenic diseases. Second, Gen addition for complex disorders and infectious diseases. Third, gen expression alteration targeted RNA or the ribonucleic acid. And the fourth one is gen editing to introduce targeted changes in the host genome. What are the uses of gene therapy? Gene therapy is used to correct defective genes in order to cure a disease or help your body better fight disease. Researchers are investigating several ways to do this including Replacing mutated genes. Some cells become diseased because certain genes work incorrectly or no longer work at all. Replacing the defective genes may help treat certain diseases. Fixing mutated genes. Mutated genes that cause disease could be turned off so that they no longer promote disease. Or healthy genes that they help prevent disease could be turned on so that they could inhibit disease. Making disease cells more evident to the immune system. In some cases, your immune system doesn't attack disease cells because it doesn't recognize them as an intruders. Doctor could use gene therapy to train your immune system to, re to recognize the cells that are a threat. What are the common types of cell therapy? There are different types of cell therapy. The most common type of cell therapy is blood transfusion and the transfusion of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets from a donor. Another common cell therapy is the transplantation of hematopoietic stem cells to create bone marrow for which has been performed for over 40 years. As with gene therapy, cell therapy subtypes can be classified in different ways. There is currently no formal classification system for cell therapies. How are viruses used in gene therapy? Viruses as vectors for gene delivery. These viral vectors shield the new gene from the blood that may destroy it and deliver it to the appropriate cells. The transitused cells begin to use the new gene to execute its function, such as protein. Viral vectors are genetically modified so that most of their key genes are locking and allowing the gene to be transmitted. Oncolytic viruses are one example that designed to multiply mostly in cancer cells, rather in normal human cells. When oncolytic viruses reproduce in cancer cells, it will explode and releasing additional oncolytic viruses to infect neighboring cancer cells. 
viral vector vaccines use a modified version of a virus that is different from the virus being targeted to deliver important instructions to our cells. The modified versions of the virus is called a vector virus. Like all vaccines, the viral vector vaccines benefit people who get vaccinated by giving them protection against disease like COVID-19 without them having to risk the serious consequences of getting sick. First, COVID-19 viral vector vaccines are given in the upper arm muscle. The COVID-19 vector virus is not the virus that causes COVID-19, but a dif different harmless virus. Next, the cell displays the spike protection on their surface. Their immune system recognizes that the protection doesn't belong there. At the end of the process, our bodies have learned how to protect us against future infections with the virus that causes COVID-19.